Hello, my dear friends. I saw this week a beautiful, magnificent explanation of a Pasuk in the Parsha, in the Sefer, Taurus Moshe, from the Alshech. The Alshech, or Moshe Alshech, was one of the giants in Atzras in the 16th century. He was a Posek, but he was also a unbelievable, fantastic Darshan. Whatever he writes is sweet like honey. And he was together, he was a Kabbalist together with the other Mikubalim in Tzvass. There, many of them are buried together in the old cemetery in Tzvass, which is one of my favorite places in Eretz Israel. Oddly enough, because when you walk through that cemetery, you feel the, the sweep of Jewish history and you encounter people whose far will we study throughout our lives. So the al says the following. The Torah says, you, if somebody does something wrong, you have to give them tochacha. Tochacha means to reprimand. You have to give them musr. You have to say, hey, what are you doing? This is, it is inappropriate. And then the pastor continues, do not put, do not put sin upon them. So Rashi says it means don't humiliate the person in public. Be giving musr, do it privately, do it in a way that won't cause the person to be humiliated and embarrassed. The Alsha, though, says it means that if you want to give somebody Musar, don't put upon him the sin means don't make him a sinner. Don't tell him, you're no good. You're, you're a balavera. You're somebody who commits sins and averas. Tell the person that he's a tzaddik. That's the right way to give Musar. They say, what are you talking about? How you, that's how you give Musar. So the Alsha quotes a pasuk in Mishle, and he, and he, and he offers... Also, a unique explanation for this possibly. Omar le Russia tzaddik ato yikavu amin. If you tell a Russia, hey, you're a great guy, then the nations will bear, will curse you because you're encouraging bad behavior. If you, if, if you try to um, endear yourself to a Russia by flattering the person and saying, hey, what you're doing is great, that that's terrible, that's destructive. However, but for the people who give rebuke, it's pleasant. So the Alsha says that means that if the reason why you tell somebody that he's a tzaddik is because you want to flatter the person and be on his good side or her good side for because of some benefit you want, that's, that's terrible. But if you're doing it to give tochacha, if you're doing it to change the person, the right way to do it is to tell the person, you're a tzaddik. Omar the Russian tzaddik. You tell the Russian, hey, you're a tzaddik, you're a wonderful person. This behavior, this doesn't fit in. It's unbecoming for you because you're such a big tzaddik. Don't tell a Russia that he's a Russia. Because if you do so, he's not going to pay any attention. If anything, it's going to make his, the, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be so irate and, 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 and it will make, it'll, it'll perhaps cause him to become a bigger Russia. So the Asha says that that's what it means. Give a person Musr, but don't put upon him sin. Don't, 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 don't lay on him that he's, you're no good, you're a sinner, you're about very doing this wrong and that wrong. On the contrary, tell the person that you're good, and that way the person will, will turn around. And this is a tremendous insight into human nature and to human relationships because people make this error all the time. They get angry at somebody and then they tell the person off and they say all the things they don't like about the person and that's just, that pushes the person away. It doesn't encourage any positive change. The way to get a person to turn around is to tell the person that he's a tzaddik. And I would add, the beginning of the apostle, do not despise a person in your heart so Ramban says it means don't if you're if you're angry at somebody don't hold it in because then it just festers and grows. I would say a, 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 an alternate explanation it means if you want to give tachacha go bevecha. If you dislike somebody, even if you don't say that you dislike the person, it'll come out in what you say. The person will sense it. They'll, they'll know that you that you have that you be, that you have a grudge against them or, they, or you think poorly of them, and then that will not. B, the Tachacha will not come out the right way because then you're going to be placing the sin on them. You can't approach Tachacha. If you want to encourage somebody, it has to be from a good place, not from a bad place. I want to tie this into something that I said 
on Pesach. And you'll re- excuse me for repeating it, but I think it's such a, an important thought, and there were many people who were not in Shul or Yantif, and, and I, I think that this is should be emphasized over and over again. In the Haggadah it says, there are four sons that the Torah speaks of. So the question is, why is the Haggadah say Echad four times? It repeats, Echad Chacham, Echad Rasha, one Chacham, one Rasha. Furthermore, what's the whole purpose of saying Echad altogether? Why to say Echad Chacham? So what I had suggested was that parents, every parent wants to have the Chacham. The Chacham is the is the tzaddik, is the one who's a tzaddik. He wakes up in the morning. He makes his bed. And he says all his brachas. He, he gets out, he gets to school before before yeshiva starts. He's always has always has his homework. He's he's always busy davening and studying. And he takes out the garbage. And he's a tzaddik. Everything right. But then you have the Russia. The Russia is the rebellious child. Who's uh, whatever you want. He's pushing in the opposite direction. It's like they compare it to a a shopping cart. That with broken wheels, whichever way you push, it's, it's pulling the other way. There are kids like that, that they're, they're contrary, contrary personalities. That's the Russia. He's always arguing with you, always disagreeing. Nobody wants a Russia. And nobody wants the Tom or Daniel, or the, the, the simple minded boy, or the boy that's totally disinterested, can't even ask a question. Nobody wants those types of children. So the Agatha says that if you feel that way, then it's a terrible mistake. Because Echel Chacham, Echel Rasha, Chetam, Echel Sheni, and Yisho. Every single one of those children are, are equally important. Because the world is made up of different personalities. And every person has their challenges. The Chacham has his challenges. The Rasha has his challenges. The Chacham and the Yisho. And as a parent, we have to treat each child as if they are number one. They are the best. They are terrific doesn't matter which one of the four personalities they are. Each one, parent has to see them as an echot. And the reason why that is so is because if a parent thinks little of the child, then the child will be destroyed. Children look to parents for admiration. More important the, 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 to a child, the approval of a parent is more important to the child than anybody else in the world. And if a parent doesn't know how to give the child encouragement and build up their self-esteem, then the parent destroys the children. And oftentimes what parents do is they compare, is they, they'll say to the child, why aren't you like your brother? Oh, why aren't you like your sister? She always gets 100. How come you got a 42 on your test? And even if, you, even if a parent doesn't say that, but if a parent thinks that, the child will sense it. And then the child's self-esteem will be destroyed. And no matter where the child is standing, the child has got to be treated as echad, echad, the, 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 the one, singular, in, incomparable, nobody else. And just like they talk about that the parent has to have unconditional love, a parent has to have unconditional admiration for a child. And the child has to feel that, that the parent is proud of them no matter what they do. The parent is proud because that will accomplish a thousand times more than telling the child Musser and the, how come this and how oh, are they that and why don't you do better. And that. All that is destructive. Of course, it's true. You have to tell your child, you, you know, remember to do your homework. It's time to go daven. I'm not saying you shouldn't encourage your child. But if it comes across as put down what the Chumash describes go see so of chait don't put a sin on when you're giving tochacha when you're reprimanding go see so of chait don't put a sin on the person don't make the person feel that they're a sinner omer go rasha tzadik kata when you want to know how to influence the rasha tell him he's omer go tzadik that's what it says in the Mishnah that I quoted before omer go rasha tzadik kata tell the rasha that he's a tzadik because that will do the most to turn, turn around the person and it, it does, none of this has to be feigned. You don't have to pretend if the child is, is going in the wrong direction. He has Russia tendency. I always say, say that when it says that God, there's a, a child, a Russia, it doesn't mean he, he is a Russia. He's, 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 he's not even bar mitzvah yet. It means he has Russia tendency. He's rebellious. So when you, if you encourage the, the child, if, 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 if the child feels that, that you feel that he is a tzad, that he has tremendous potential, 
then the person, the child will do well. But if he feels that you're disappointed, and 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 he's he's a goof off, or he's no good, or he, this and that, then you're destroying the child. That's destructive for the child. I told the story that in the in the Belzer Haggadah it says that there was a uh, the, the the din of a Rebbe went Pesach night to the out to the to the to the to the, to the folk. In the city, he wanted to see how they conduct the seder, and he overheard somebody say, screaming on the top of his lungs, "Echad, chacham, echad, Rashi." When he pronounced the word "echad," he was screaming, and so the Rebbe afterwards said he thinks that the, the man is an arts, he's ignorant. He thinks that you're supposed to say "echad al loud just like by Kriya Shema. He says "Shem Akane, Shem Echad." So he told this over to the Belzer Rebbe, and the Belzer Rebbe, it was obvious that he thought that this that this, there was genius in what this Jew was doing. But he didn't, he didn't offer an explanation, and God doesn't say why. So we, what I suggested is because Hashem Elkein Hashem Echad, when we say Hashem is Echad, it means that even though the world is all full of all sorts of di- diverse forces, in the end, everything leads back to a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And that's the unity of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Everything stems from a from Kaddish Baruch Hu. And the, every person in the world has different nisyonos. And that's what brings about it. it's the, the the diversity and the complexity of the world, the way everything blends together. That's what underscores the achdus, the unity of Hashem. And each one of the children of the four banim, they all each one has their own challenge. Every person has challenges in life. So the Russia has his challenge that he has to struggle with. He's rebellious, and they ain't he, he, He's just not interested. He's bored. He, he has no interest. They all have their challenges. But it's when they struggle with those challenges, that's how they show that Hashem Elkein Hashem Echad. No matter from what point you're coming, HaKadosh Baruch Hu was one. In the Chumash it says that when the, uh, when the, 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 the Ben HaRasha says, in the Haggadah says, he, he says, Ma bother What does this work for you? So um, the comment is, for you and not for me. That shows that he's a Russia. He's only, he, he, he doesn't think it doesn't relate to him. So in Chumash, that Pasuk is in, in Parsha's bow, and at the end of that Parsha, it says, the people bowed down, and they gave praise. So Rashi says, what were they so, why did they bow down? Because they were informed that they were going to have children. So everybody asked, they were informed they were having Rishayim. So the the Rashi is the one that says, so why were they so happy? Why were they giving thanks? So the answer is, a ran, a Rasha is not a Bidi Eved. It's a terrible mistake that people have. They think, "I oh, why did I get stuck with this type of child?" And if you feel that way, then it's gonna, then the child's gonna know that you feel that way. You have to be proud of your child. And it's if even if the child has a has a very big challenge, that's his challenge. So what? That's God gave him that challenge. And if he'll utilize his life properly, if you encourage him and he'll move in the right direction, then it'll be echad. He'll be the one. He'll be singular. Who rise above everybody else? He'll be fulfilled the mitzvah of Hashem Elkeinu Hashem Echad. But that's only if the parent is able to see the good in the child. Well, Sisna Chicha B'Vavecha applies especially to children. Don't despise your child. That's the pasuk that says, Before you give Tachacha, don't despise. Before you tell your child off, don't despise the child. Love the child. You could come from a position of love and show the child how much you, you, he means to you or she means to you and how important they are and how they, you have them on a pedestal. And, and if it's lo sisna chicha if you don't despise your, your child, this is true of everybody, especially children, then you could give chicha. But don't lay upon the child sin. Don't say you're no good. Say how terrific you are. That's the way to encourage a person, to encourage a child. So this is tremendous advice, both in terms of our children and also in terms of human relations. When we deal with others, there's always points of conflict in life. But if you if you tell somebody you off, if it's obvious that you hate them, if it's obvious that you're angry, if it's obvious that you think little of them, so then you might as well be talking to a brick wall. It's like talking to yourself. The person's not going to pay any attention have to build the person up. You have to tell them how, how important they are. And you have to feel that way because everybody has good qualities. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has their own struggles. And, and, and that's that's what life is all about. It's to try to overcome those struggles. That's how we make Hashem Elkenio, Hashem Echad. But if you, if you approach it that way, then you can have an impact 
and your children have an impact, and, 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 and your friends have an impact on, on society. Well, don't look down at people. See the good. Even if the person appears to be a Russia, find the tzaddik that's lingering within the person and build it up, and in that way you'll be able to transform the individual.